There is one huge problem in WoW that nobody ever talks about. We're too busy having highly intelligent debates about class balance that we fail to even see the real problem right below our nose. It's the fact that defensive cooldowns are just not cool. This is Metamorphosis, one of the most badass spells in the game, literally turning you into Illidan Stormrage, the coolest WoW character of all time, after Arthas, of course. Metamorphosis is a cool spell. It looks cool and makes you feel like a god, but do you know what doesn't? Bark skin. Yeah, isn't that cool? The problem is that offensives are sexy. They make you feel cool and strong and they have badass animations, while defensives are just boring most of the time. It's no wonder nobody wants to press them. But what if we told you that the best players are using their defensives in a way you could have never possibly imagined? because they're actually using defensives to deal more damage no matter what role you play. It's knowledge like this that truly separates a good player from the top 1% in Mythic Plus. Sure, you might be able to learn your rotation from a simple damage guide, but when it comes to actually playing your role in higher keys, suddenly all that time you spent hitting a target dummy isn't really cutting it. That's why we set out to create the most comprehensive learning experience ever for Mythic Plus at skillcap.com. We've been working with the highest rated players from Echo and Method to develop courses in one convenient location that teach you the advanced mechanics you can learn quickly that actually increase your IO score. Our guides teach you information you won't find anywhere else, like how to make your interrupts more effective, or how to take advantage of your entire toolkit to survive one-shot mechanics the right way. We even provide tests to help you fill any gaps in your knowledge and show you some of the most common damage mistakes that players just like you are making. With the help of MDI champions like Miris, you will learn everything that most players overlook. All this and more is contained in an expanding library of premium courses that are guaranteed to help you achieve your goals this season. In fact, we even promise that you will gain at least 500 rating while using our website, and if you don't, then you shouldn't pay. So visit the link below to get started with an exclusive discount offer. We've looked through hundreds of logs from every role in every mythic dungeon over the last two seasons, and one trend stood out. The higher you go in a key level, the more defensive cooldowns were pressed. Now, at this point, you might be saying, of course, skill capped, higher keys means more damage, so it's no wonder players are using defensives more. But what's less obvious is how high-rated players actually use their defensive CDs to do more damage. The most obvious example of this trend was actually with healers and how they manage their healing cooldowns. There is a tendency for lower-rated healers to sit on their healing CDs, saving them specifically for moments where their party drops low. Now, there's nothing wrong with using healing cooldowns when extra healing is needed, and many bosses require you to do this. But when fighting trash, where damage is way less telegraphed and seemingly random, healing CDs are more or less an afterthought. But the truth is, healing cooldowns allow you to be more aggressive with damage. When we worked with Roybin to design our Resto Druid and Holy Paladin courses, this was a concept she stressed. If healing cooldowns are ready, then you have even more incentive to deal damage, knowing you have the ability to recover. And that's exactly what we see happen in this clip from last season, where Roybin is healing a plus 31 freehold. She begins this pull by preemptively using two different healing cooldowns, Tears Deliverance and Hand of Divinity, which does two things. Number one, it front loads some healing in advance, and number two, gives her an insurance policy for any damage spikes, since she now has some healing in the bank. Popping her healing cooldowns aggressively allows her to safely spend eight globals in a row dealing damage, including spending holy power on Shield of the Righteous. Then, once damage starts to kick in, she is already ready with some instant cast Holy Lights, then uses five globals to stabilize her group. Before returning back to dealing damage for another seven damage globals in a row, which was only possible because she traded so aggressively. Now, let's compare Roybin's damage to a lower rated Holy Paladin healing a very similar pull, but this time in plus 20. The pull starts, but despite having everything ready and ramping with Tears Deliverance and Hand of Divinity, just like Roybin did, this Paladin instead attempts to brute force all of the healing of this first big pull with just Holy Shocks and Word of Glories. The end result is that in almost the same amount of time on a very similar pull, this Paladin manages to use a grand total of zero Shield of the Righteous and barely contributed any damage to their team, with a measly 1.07 million damage on the board. So, as it turns out, one of the tricks high-rated healers use to do more damage is to actually use their healing cooldown. If you have a guaranteed recovery option or have healing already ramped, you can use those windows to focus more on dealing damage, which is what allows some healers to stay neck and neck with DPS. A similar concept applies to DPS. By being more adaptive when you use defensives, you can actually do more damage. But before we start, let's be clear. 
There are critical moments where it is obvious you need your defensives, like if there is some big unavoidable damage from a boss mechanic. Unfortunately, many DPS stop here. They know when to use their defensives to obvious and telegraphed mechanics, but we can do better. The next step is to use defensives proactively against random trash mechanics. Here, Klix gets targeted by Etch, an insanely hard-hitting ability, and in response, he instantly trades out his personal despite being high on HP. Of course, this didn't immediately boost his DPS, but allowed him to continue pumping damage globals without any immediate risk of dying. But let's take this to yet another level. Here is an extreme case from last season. During this phase, there will be some random AoE damage that would normally make sense to avoid, but as you can see, our Paladin has preemptively used Shield of Vengeance, which means not only can they afford to tank the mechanic, but will actually increase their total damage with the reversal in a few moments later. Melee are not alone in this trend, and casters can even use their defensives with the goal of doing more damage. As a caster, you already know that one of the biggest problems you might encounter is needing to stop your cast in order to dodge a mechanic on the floor. If you play a spec like Demo Warlock, where you need to carefully ramp for your burst cooldowns, even the smallest amount of micro-movement can result in a noticeable DPS loss. Just like melee, the workaround is simple. If you have the wiggle room to burn a defensive before it's needed on a major boss, you can simply treat that CD as an insurance policy to safely deal damage. And since almost every defensive CD is off the global cooldown, you suffer zero DPS loss from doing so. When we worked with Mears for our Shadow Priest course, we witnessed a pattern. Almost every time he needed to use Void Torrent on trash, it would be combined with Fade and Desperate Prayer. A big reason why players like Mears are able to consistently push the highest keys and perform well in tournaments is that they place a huge emphasis on defensive cooldown usage. Not only are they using defensives against obvious and telegraphed unavoidable mechanics, but also in times where they can squeeze out slightly more damage, they will trade out defensives in order to stay in and deal damage, which is exactly what Stove does here. Using his Cloak of Shadows to immune the boss's fear, knowing there isn't any immediate magic damage he needs to avoid. Before we move on to tanks, let's recap everything we've learned so far. As a healer, your healing cooldowns are what give you the safety net to deal more damage. If you have a major healing increase available, it means you can be more aggressive by spending more globals on damage. As a DPS, your personals not only help you stay alive against unavoidable mechanics, but can also be used against avoidable sources of damage to ensure you can stay in and safely deal damage. As a tank, you need to keep both of these rules in mind, which seems like a lot to keep track of, but is one of the main reasons why tanking is considered a difficult role. For tanks, the simple and obvious tanking rule that most people follow is having more personal defensives ready means being able to pull more. This is basic information, and you definitely know this by now. More defensives means being tankier. Being tankier means being able to handle more mobs, which is why it's no surprise that every tank pulls big at the start of the run. But in the middle of the run, it can be less obvious when a big pull is possible by just looking at your cooldowns alone. Instead, you need to rely on other information, like whether or not your healer and DPS will be able to handle a big pull too. Your team's CDs are your fuel. The more fuel you have, the deeper you can push into the dungeon on a single pull. This is why Omni CD is by far one of the most important add-ons since you know how much gas you have in the tank. Now, you don't need to go ahead and track everything with Omni CD, but most high-rated tanks use it to keep inventory of their teammates' defensives and their team's offensive cooldowns. Using this information anytime you have your own defensives ready, you have some incentive to pull more, but you should also check your party's CDs. If your healer has healing cooldowns or externals ready and your DPS have some offensives ready too, you instantly know that a bigger pull is possible. And by pulling bigger under these conditions, you incentivize your DPS to pump damage. This is why Omni CD is by far one of the most important add-ons for any tank, since you know how much gas you have left. Before you go, be sure to visit skillcap.com using the link below. We've been working with cutting edge players from Echo and Method to make some amazing courses available on our brand new Mythic Plus site. Here, you can learn the hidden secrets of your class as you discover tricks used by top players that allow you to maximize your DPS, healing, and survivability, while also learning some cool tips on how to use your utility, just like MDI and TGB caliber players. Right now, we are building courses for everyone, so if your class isn't represented today, be sure to check back later, where we plan to have most specs fully ready by the holidays. We're so confident our website works that we even offer a rating gain guarantee if you don't add at least 500 points to your IO score while 